Wagwan. Wagwan mute. Mute, tell me. Tell me, brethren. Bumba clap. What? What's up for the bumba clap? How are we doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. It's just nostalgic because even as, as we were coming in, I, I was like, I know that, Bill. That's where I made my debut. And I was like, oh, shit. It's the same spot as well. By the way, this fight should have been in the stadium, my, my opinion. But, you know, the Peppers are in town, so things had to move. But, um, yeah, just nostalgic being in Perth, seeing the vibe. People are loving it. So, yeah, I'm excited. It's funny you mentioned about the stadium because I heard Dana being like, oh, the gate for this is going to be the highest ever. It's going to beat Conor McGregor record. So it shows the appetite would have been there for a stadium. Oh, bro, it would have sold out. Like, it's, this sold out crazy. I can't even get tickets. I have to like talk to the fucking scalpers or whoever to get <laughs> tickets, but like it went like that. I might have overpromised a few people, so uh, sorry. <laughs> this fight, right? It's it's not only is Alex going for double champ status, but he's doing it. Not to disrespect George, when George came back and fought Bisping, right? Yeah. Stylistically, okay. Alex yeah. isn't doing that. Alex is going against the guy who's the right guy. there, the yeah. best. For that, I know you're a guy who takes inspiration from your teammates. Is this one of the ones where you're like, God damn, I get Facts. goosebumps even thinking about it now? Even when I, when I saw him, we, we linked up yesterday, when I saw him, he looks good. I see him normally during fight week, but this one, he looks like he's just an ox, strong, you know? And same energy. Alex, Alex keeps the same energy. And yeah, I always draw inspiration from there. I always draw. It's funny, man, because Alex is the kind of guy who like sort of relishes being overlooked, and I think he's one of those guys. Yeah, it's, I think he's one of those guys who likes to find things to piss him off. Yeah. So like, Islam didn't come to the welcome to the country ceremony. And I think I think Alex was a bit like, okay, I would have done it in Dagestan. Yeah. Yep. And I think the DC interview is Islam was smirking. Alex seems to be a little bit fired up by that too. Do you think that's? Because oh, they're boys. That's why DC and Islam they are from AKA. So of course, it's like he's he's still even on interviews going to enemy territory. Yeah. So do you think all of that, you know, would suggest that, oh, it's all against Alex, but is he the kind of guy that the more you stack against him, the better it is for he him? He shines. He shines under the pressure. And, yeah, I expect nothing less from this weekend. Yeah. How do you see the fight playing out? Honestly, it's going to be one on the feet. That's where I feel the fight's going to be won. Um, look, he has a tough task ahead of him. Let's not mince words or make mistakes about that. Islam is that dude. And I like the way Alex says, just keep that same energy when it's over. Don't try and tell me, oh, well, he's only fought two top 10 guys. Oh, well, he's not actually Khabib. No, keep that same energy. And um, the, way, the way the fight's going to be won, I feel, for me, my expertise, what do I know? Is um, <laughs> maybe Islam wants to take him to the fans, take him down, keep him down. But striking-wise, you watch the breakdown of Freestyle Bender. We just, we just put it up. Shout out Freestyle Bender. Um, Islam wasn't, his striking... He's able to do things recklessly because, you know, he's so good on the ground and keeping people down. But then when Alex gets up and is peppering him, is going to try and take him down again, maybe get him down, Alex gets up, and then he starts to like, oh, fuck, this guy, I can't keep him down. That's where, like Alex says, you'll see it in their eyes. We know this feeling. You see it in their eyes. You feel the energy. They're like, oh, fuck, and it starts to panic strike or panic shoot. Yeah. I said to Alex the other day, I was like, dude, the one thing I didn't really think about until this week is there'll be a moment where Islam takes him down. Mm. The crowd reaction, if Alex gets up, like the whole place is gonna lose their shit if he stands up. And that was the bit I was like, oh, that could swing a fight. Yeah. If Islam suddenly like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Also, I don't think he's gone past round three. I don't think Islam has gone past round three. So there's that. Everyone wants to be a champion till you, till you gotta go fight, till you gotta train for five rounds. And I know they, they do their work, you know, respect to their dynasty, but yeah, respect to our dynasty as well on this side of the world. So they're gonna find out. You've got your own news, obviously the rematch in Miami. Congratulations. Miami, we're going to my jammy, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's so funny, man. Like, and obviously, you know, we have a nice relationship and stuff, yeah. so I don't want to be accused of biasing, but I think you're still yeah. underrated in how often you fight. Yeah. Always the biggest challenges. You could have easily sat back I and sort of- dice, man. I, I mean, I'm not one of these guys who just chills and, oh, you know, I can duck this guy or wait for this guy or wait for this guy to do this. Nah, who's ready to fight? I roll the dice. Were you surprised he seemed so adamant, like he wanted a 205 pound fight? Mm, kind of no. felt to me like maybe this he, he wanted that Jamal Hill fight a lot it sort of suggested he, a bunch yeah he even I said if you, I haven't even like I saw a few newses and then there was only one time I kind of put something out there and I was like you guys don't know shit about MMA because everyone's just like talking oh Israel and apparently he put a tweet up saying I should accept the fight I'm like I never once said nah I was the one saying nah he's the next fight I've said that from the get go so when he put oh accept the fight and all the fans oh my god nah, 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 nah. it's like yo this is, it's not what it is. So I just, I stay away from MMA news when it's holiday time. I train, I do my thing on the low. I have fun with my friends and family. 
and I don't really immerse myself in that world like I used to. So I like to step step aside so it gets me hungry. And I'm watching the boys work and stuff and I'm just like, all right. Let's go. Yeah. Everyone's going to say, oh, how mentally are you going to fight this guy when the each fight's gone the That's other the way? Experts, the body analysis experts, they'll tell you. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, right? Because it's like every time the, the, the decision's gone one way or the, the result's gone one way, but if you accumulate the minutes, who's won each minute? Like, you've won the majority of these fights. So for you, is it even a question of confidence or is it just like, no, I know I can beat this guy. First round, if that was 10 seconds longer, that's the finishing of the fight. So yeah. is it just like, hey, another chance to prove I can be great? Yeah, exactly. And this is part of my story. This is where, in any story, the valleys, you know? And also for him, one man's hero is another man's villain. If you, if you, if you look at his life from his uh, like point of view, I'm the villain. I'm the guy that he, you know, underdog come against, beat. I went to the UFC, he chased me, got me, and then beat me. So this is my story now. This is my time for his story, yeah. The trilogy would be pretty big too, huh? Especially if we get that in Africa, like yeah. Dana keeps promising. That'd be crazy, that'd be crazy. But I don't think after this next one, I don't want to, this camp, I'm just going to do my work, but I'm going to say less. I'm going to say less, because I know exactly, he's got bragging rights. I got the opportunity to, to, to claim it back, but I'm going to say less and do more. I'm gonna say less and do more. I'm gonna show you a clip, dude. I, I had this, I made this because I was thinking of you when I saw it. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I was like, I was like, I'll wait until I see him in person. This to me is the energy for your rematch, bro. I've seen this clip. Yeah. I saw it probably like three weeks ago. Yeah, I posted it. Yeah, ah, okay, here we go. <laughs> but I was thinking of you when I saw it, man. I was like, damn, this guy, like. You know what's funny? You know, he also beat Sonny Liston in Miami. Yeah. 91 underdog. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, it's, uh, and then that's what I'm getting goosebumps. Like, yeah. the trilogy, bro. Know, yeah, exactly. No, bro, I love money and I like, I like the story as well. But I, after this fight, I bet you he's going to move to 205. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I bet you he's going to move to 205. So this is my shot, and this is this is why I'm putting everything into this. I put everything into the last one. This wasn't my day. It wasn't my night. But trust me, I'm putting everything. And I'll, I can't say too much, but like I said, I'll say less and I'll do more. Yeah. You hear about Dan? I was there. So I pulled up the spider. I'm like, why is he doing spider with, uh, like, Art Jimison? He had one boxing glove on. So in the first round, apparently, then he tells me, oh, first takedown, someone shot and just made his hand kiss the, the back of his hand. He goes to me, yeah, I'll wrap it, I'll wrap it up. He said to me, I was like, you broke it in the first minute, Spider went, yeah, I went, that seems like something a doctor would have questions about. He was like, my superpower is not x-ray vision, it's <laughs> I was like, Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you break your hand, stop the whole spider. I come there and he finished the whole thing, all three rounds. It's Dan, crazy man. Bro, always a pleasure.